Hello, Interwebs. Welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, apologies for the potato camera today, but I've uh, forgotten the camcorder charger three days on the trot, so I'm just going to do it with the iPhone. Uh, anyway, what we're doing today, we've got this uh, grossy old Dell Latitude, um, and uh, this has got a faulty charger jack on it. Uh, now, normally I would turn down something that's this old, but um, this is a very straightforward repair and it's an old mission critical laptop that they're trying to decommission. So I said, okay, I'll fix it for you. However, it's still gonna cost you, lol. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna take this apart and resolder the power jack at the back. Um, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I used to do these all the time because these were popular in schools and kids broke laptops. So uh, I used to be able to do one of these in about 10 minutes. That's not what you're gonna see here because I haven't done one in a long time. But uh, at any rate, this should be very straightforward. So I'm going to start off by taking up off the, uh, the main covers that are blocking access. And with a bit of luck, we should be able to poke in with a soldering iron without having to strip the entire laptop apart. So let's see how we get on. oldness. Okay, that's what we're here for. Okay, so if you can see that, the connections at the very base of this connector here are really dry. Um, they may not have actually broken off, but they're damaged enough that there's not a proper consistent connection there anymore. However, um, just a, a bit of solder on the end of a soldering iron at the base of those will just fix those dry joints. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'll get out the soldering iron, warm that up, and it should be that simple. Okay, we are in position with a heated soldering iron. I've done my best to adjust the camera just so you can see what I'm doing, but the, I, I don't yet have the equipment, so whatever. So I'm literally just going to go and just spot that in. The quicker you do this, the better the finish will be. So less is more. So. So far, I'm managing to do this without frying any of the components, and we've got quite a few nearby ones. There, that's good. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Now, to test if we've got a connection, the minimum requirements are just this power button, which was this circuit board here. I'll plug that fella back in. And then uh, give it some power, and we should see a charge light. There we go. And if I just turn that around, 
that's the charging light. It's flashing at us because this battery is goosed. However, the point is there is power. So I'll just pull that back out again. Now, one thing I am gonna do, because this is all dry joint and all horrible stuff like that now, I'm going to strengthen that with a hot glue gun. So I'm just gonna get on my glue gun and I'm just gonna go around the edges just so there's another little bit of reinforcement there. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. The only way to know is to test to destruction and I don't really wanna do that because it just means I've gotta fix it again. So we're gonna get the glue gun and just give it just a little bit of a reinforcement around the edges just so it will hold as much as possible. Okay, so the glue gun is warmed up and I'm literally just gonna go around the edges. So, whoop. I'm fairly indiscriminate with these things, to be honest. The great thing about glue guns is that you can always remove it if you get it wrong. Whoop. There we go. Now, I've strayed a little bit near to that uh, screw hole there, so I'm just going to push that back. And I'm also just going to make sure that that uh, lid switch stays free. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to start reassembling. we have it. So that is how you resolder the power jack on an old obsolete laptop that no one in the audience probably has. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you all very soon. Stay tuned for an update video on where I'm going with this channel and stuff. Goodbye for now, thanks for watching.